So in this video, I want to talk about my friend, uh, sorry, my dear friend, No Kotan, if I pronounce it right. And this is the thing, there's, there's a whole different topic that I want to talk about in a separate video that's very much more broader, but I didn't know if I really wanted to talk about it in this video, but it does entail this anime. And that is a big issue when it comes to perception, hype, and just anti-tubers in general. Now, not, I'm not talking all anti-tubers, but I am talking a large percentage of anti-tubers. And many other anti-tubers that I'm friends with even agree with me on this topic. Because it's become a very big issue. And this anime is kind of getting a bit of that kind of attitude. The anime community as a whole deals with this problem, but this anime is becoming one of those catalysts for this season and I think it's because of what I like to call hype. Marketing and hype. When a show is heavily hyped up like this, and I mean there's a lot of marketing between the songs, the the dance routines and the opening song and all that, the ridiculous nature of the hype, people go into these shows with expectations. Now the marketing itself can be very clear in what it's trying to sell, but that doesn't matter because a lot of people will see excitement and joy from other people and hype and go into it and go, oh, well, this show has to be good if this many people like it. So it has to be these criterias. And what some anime fans do is they make a checklist box of criteria that they have to fulfill this show that are unrealistic. Demon Slayer is a great example of that because of the amount of popularity and hype that it got. A lot of people go into that show expecting something that it's not. And then you get people using the word Overhyped, which I see as one of the most hypocritical words. I've used it myself, but over time I've seen how it's been used, and it's used in one of the most hypocritical sense. Basically, over overhyped just ends up boiling down to someone doesn't like the show as much as another person, and they don't like the fact that other people are enjoying the show, so they tell people, well, your show's overhyped, you're not allowed to like it. But then they'll turn around and play word hopscotch and go, oh, I'm not saying you can't enjoy it, I'm just saying you shouldn't enjoy it as much, and it's like, you're doing the same thing. So I don't want to get into that topic too deep because I know I'm going to have someone in the comment section proving me right and going, well, actually, but this anime automatically, when I watched the first couple of episodes, I knew straight away this is going to be a hit and miss. Some people are going to love the humor and some people are going to find the humor absolute terrible. And surprise, surprise, when I was looking around, I noticed a lot of people hating on it and throwing like a lot of like unnecessary like hate towards it in the sense of like trying to label it as something that it's not and they're like oh this is just shit reddit humor and i'm like no no i've seen reddit humor and this ain't reddit humor reddit humor is very much just yeah i'm not even going to get into that topic there's a reason why i don't use reddit at all because it's one of the worst sites out there when it comes to self-absorbed narcissism but when I look at a lot of the criticisms for this anime, a lot of it comes from the perspective of people going into it based on hype, putting it on a pedestal, and then being upset it didn't live up to that pedestal. But there's also people that go into it based on hype, knowing that it's hyped up, and then go into it looking for things to hate about it so that they can then make a video saying, oh, this anime is terrible, and then they proceed to make a sort of six, seven, eight, ten minute long rant where they complain, complain about every facet about it but it all just turns into me low, no like humor you can't like this go watch other show that i think's better and when i did a bit of research into some of those channels i just worked out that their entire entire personality online is them just hating shows to garnish views and that's why i think this show is going to get a lot of that do i think it's fun yeah i think it's got a lot of fun aspects to it it's got the craziness you can tell that there's a lot of quality and effort put behind it even though you, some people might see the deer animations and go, huh? But that's very deliberate. It's very self-aware of itself. It's poking fun at itself. It's just there to have fun. And I think people need to go into that expecting that. Go into the anime expecting it to be very self-deprecating, very silly, outlandish, but you may not like the humor. Humor is one of those where you either love it or you hate it because a lot of people, for some reason become professional Karens where they go into things and sorry to all the Karens out there but they go into these animes and they they look for something to find offensive 
And that's what I've noticed already, is that some people are looking at the human going, Oh, this is offensive to my intelligence. I am so much superior. It's like, no, you're not superior. You are the very thing that you're criticizing. It's just the anime isn't what you're criticizing. Like I said, it's one of those where I do think it's going to hit and miss. And I think as the episodes go on, and if there's continuous hype building on this, you're going to see that kind of attitude. Otherwise, it may just filter itself out, and most of the people will just enjoy it in their own corner. That could very well happen. There's two outcomes. Either it builds a lot of hype, and you're going to get a lot of people attacking it just because they don't like something being hyped up. Or you're going to see a lot of it filter people out, and it will go to its own corner, and people will go and enjoy it over there. But I wanted to kind of give an impressions on it and kind of build a foundation that people understand that yeah this show may be for you and it may not be for you especially the deer aspect there's there's a big deer culture in japan as well like a lot of people love deers over there i i still remember watching some videos and documentaries on like deer population the culture behind it how they integrate with the society and also just actual problems that deers create because it's so overpopulated it's like they actually end up eating up a lot of the areas up and it ends up becoming kind of desolate because of the issues that it has because of the fact that there's no predators out there for them or a lack of predators they end up becoming overpopulated and run into other issues so it's just kind of funny when i see this anime i kind of understand why there's such a love for deers and why there's a series like this but i think for some anime fans that don't understand japan culture and its history will probably look at this and be confused at why there's a series based on deers again that well i know some people say well they're just tourists i understand that but not everyone watches anime to learn everything about the japanese culture and it's just little things that i learn over time and then i studied japanese in high school and primary school so there's a lot of things and i studied japanese before i got into anime technically i was into anime when i was younger but re-entering into anime I studied Japanese in between that bracket so it wasn't like I was studying Japanese because I was watching anime it kind of is actually the other way around so I just think it's one of those where I think some people will go into it understanding the humor and the nature behind it and some people will go into it not understanding it and getting confused and maybe irritated at it again I want to put that there so that people that do watch it and go mm, this isn't really for me understand that there may be some things that just might go straight over your head and that's fine not every anime is made for everyone it is a comedy gag humor school setting that's what its tags are under and it's done by which studio so clearly they've, they've put a lot of effort in this and the marketing has definitely gone very viral it's what i expected but i also do expect that there's going to be a lot more hate because it is a profitable series to hate on right now and that may be a topic i may delve into at a later point about the biggest issue when it comes to the anime community and the anitube community and this new wave of hate culture it's not like it's a new thing it's just becoming a, a bigger thing currently it's like a new a new wave of it not necessarily it being new in general but I think, again, if you like the idea of a girl with horns being very ditzy and dumb, and then you've got the cute blonde girl that's trying to hide her second life, being a delinquent, and her actually, even though she's kind of a delinquent, she's got this kind of like soft, like cutesy side to her, and then she's got like a, a sister that has a sister complex, and another one with green hair that's like a trainee for the deer. It, there's a lot of crazy characters in it. Every character has kind of a very distinct personality trait and i'm sure i'm going to see some people say that it's very cliche or got tropes or stuff i would say cliche would be the better word for it but i don't think it's that i think it's very unique in some of the traits but they do use some of the more common traits like the child uh the sister complex kind of thing but that's the, that's the thing you got to understand. The series is very self-aware of what it's trying to do. It's grabbing all these things, shoving them together, and just trying to have a lot of fun and being silly. But if you look at a lot of older animes that do humor in different ways, some people are going to like the old stuff, and some people are not going to like the new stuff, and vice versa. So you've got to go into it knowing that watch the first three episodes, and if it doesn't stick with you, move on. Because I have a very strong suspicion that if you don't like the first three episodes, you're not going to like the rest of it. But if you really love it and you're absolutely digging it, then there is the manga as well. And the manga is very popular. So 
hopefully that gets people on a kind of a ground basis of what the story is like. I don't really need to explain like the intricates of the story because there really isn't an actual real story in the sense of things other than just delinquent deer chick that's like got horns and they kind of do stuff together and they have a little club and there's other characters that interact and there's these running jokes about the the girl and the blonde having her v card and everything and then all about her like day-to-day -day life being humiliated and her being self-aware of the stupidity of everything going on and that's one thing i think some people don't like is the self-deprecatingness of it because if something is self-deprecating i think that's the right word to use i'm sure someone will yell at me but it the fact that it's mocking itself the fact that the anime is mocking itself, some people do not like, because then it becomes something that they can't mock themselves and go, ha, huh, this series did this stupid thing, and people go, well, yeah, it's self-aware of itself. I've got a big thing about self-awareness, the positives and the negatives of self-awareness when it comes to storytelling, but I do think this does it in a way that's kind of like, it knows what it's trying to do, and it knows that it's got some stuff in the story that is just completely and absolutely wonkos. And it tries to mix the the real life images and the sort of the anime aspect and kind of melds them together because there's those kind of like in-between shots where you go from scene to scene and they have the music and they go doom and they have like a real life background with a deer or something and then the two characters kind of like standing there in the animated format. So they mix some really interesting concepts together. I think it's cool. It just may not be for everyone. So again, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Keep it civil. Keep it chill. Might do a video talking about bigger issues when it comes to the Anitube anime community. So again, if you like this video, hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.